we struggle when we can't be as independent as we would like, and we may feel guilty when we can't contribute to family life like we used to. He was doing my jobs and his jobs. And it was, as you can imagine, felt horrible for me. I felt horrible for him. Obviously, one of the facts of life around here is, is I do a lot of lifting um, because she cannot transfer. We worry a lot about the effect RMS has on those who have to provide that level of support and about our relationships. I think the biggest challenge for caregivers is that they sometimes feel guilty looking after their own needs and looking for their own support. They need to find time to re-energize themselves, whatever that is. And, and they shouldn't feel guilty about that because that's the fuel that's going to help them to go back and really uh, care for their loved one and have the energy that's needed. Break it up into 20 different pieces. And then it's another part of that they break up into other small pieces. Our relationships don't stop at home. As humans, we thrive on interacting with others. But something as simple as getting together with friends takes on a whole new meaning when you have primary progressive MS. The goal for any person with PPMS is to stay active and involved in their life. Their challenge is to figure out how MS might be getting in the way and then what they need to do to make sure that they can continue doing the things that are important to them.